sweet girl. Morning y'all, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Good Friday and today I'm just going to be getting ready for Easter. We're gonna be doing some fun spring Easter things. I'm gonna be baking cookies and I'm gonna get Rosemary's first Easter basket together. I also gonna show you guys the gift that I made her. So really excited about that. I finished it up last night and if you follow me on Instagram, I shared it over there. So um, you probably have already seen it, but I love it. I love how it turned out. The sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. So I might also go outside with Rosemary a bit. The other day we put a blanket down and um, we just like chilled on the blanket and we read books and played with toys while Tony was working on our patio. So that's another big thing we're trying to do today. Tony's gonna take advantage of me being home today and go outside and try to work a lot on our patio. So I'm so excited for that. I can't wait to like share the slow progression of everything around our home because we are doing everything um, kind of like on a budget by ourselves. And so it's going to be a long, long process. I'm talking like you guys, if you subscribe and follow me, the progression from like this year, our first year basically working on it until a few years, even in the future, like just from like there's bushes and plants and like all that stuff. I'm just so excited to see it grow. And one of the first things we're doing is a gravel patio in the back. Um, we already have like a rock wall that Tony built with the excavator that we had over the summer. But yeah, we will be back there working and we already have patio furniture. I got that like when it was on sale at Walmart. So we have the furniture. We just need a place to put the furniture. And we've been propagating all this ivy to put on our bank. So there's a lot in the works with that um, and I'm so excited to just have a place to sit outside soon. That's like the big thing is that I want some place to sit outside. I have to be outside when it's beautiful out. So the cookies I'm making, I don't even know if you consider them cookies. They're like tarts. Um, it's a really easy recipe. It's not by scratch even. Like it's like with pie dough um, that I purchased and then just like a jam, a preserves inside of it. But they're really cute. Like really cute, really springy, really festive. So hopefully my cookie cutter that I need to make them comes pretty soon here. Uh, I want to get them started earlier in the day because Tony's dad's coming to visit for a little bit. Our meal usually comes around 10 or 11, I think. Say, so look, it just woke up. Say hi, Rosemary. Hi, Rose. Say hi, Rosemary. I just woke up, didn't you? She woke up and then we went and sat out on the porch. It's beautiful and it was just so nice. We're just listening to the birds chirp and it really feels so much like spring. I actually think while we're waiting for the mail, I'm going to put her in the Sully wrap. Oh, it's okay. I'm going to put her in the Sully wrap and then um, we have some kale that I need to plant. So I think we'll do that. I also wanted to show you guys our seeds because they are so much bigger since the last time you saw them. They are doing fantastic. They all pretty much germinated and are looking really nice. There's my some of my flowers down here, some herbs and things, and here are our peppers, our tomatoes. So they're doing great. They love these grow lights. Is that your buddy boy? Oh, is that your buddy boy? Yeah, yeah. Hey Leo. What? You talking? You talking to the people? Say hi. Say hello. You wanna get wrapped up? I'm gonna feed you first. And then we can go do some kale planting. What you got there? My chapstick and my scrunchie. I really wanna get a wrap that's a cross between like this one and her bigger hiker hiking backpack. Um, so if you have any ideas, let me know. But I do really want to order like a, a cross version, I guess. You ready to do some gardening? It's so pretty out. So yeah, it's so pretty out. I don't even know if I need a jacket. I'm in this like, one of those eight frame dresses that I love. It's like a tank swing dress, I think is what they're called, swing dresses. <laughs> Sun in your eyes. Ah, in it. Ready to go. 
glasses is upside down. That means you put it in. Ready to go. Ready to go. Oh, oh did it come off? Try again. Ready. My sweet girl. Pack this cute little bag. The grass is greener where you water it. That's adorable. I probably got it from like Home Goods or something. Bird cloth. And maybe I'll throw a diaper in here. Oh, what are you doing? Try to eat the camera. I'm on my phone right now filming this, but look at where I am, you guys. So we came down here to take photos because we've been cleaning this RV up and getting ready to sell it. And so I wanted to vlog in here because who knows if I'm gonna get to do it again. And it's crazy that Rosemary's in here, but you guys followed me when we lived in the RV. You know all too well all of this area behind me that I'm showing you. Um, we are really happy to get the RV sold. So we'll be listing it on, I guess, like Facebook Marketplace or I don't know, but um, yeah, we are selling it and she's all cleaned up and ready to go. So I gotta take these photos for the listing and then we'll go back outside and start planting. Planting our kale, huh? Where is this place? See, where am I? Where am I? Gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of down for her nap and I'm going to start putting together her Easter basket. We got this cheap Easter basket from like Walmart. Eventually I'd love to have the same basket for all my kids and just like have different colors or something but for now this is totally fine and it's like bright colors too because I feel like Easter is just so fun and it should be bright and colorful and just Love it. So it was like five bucks. Um, super simple. And then the main thing in her Easter basket is books because you guys know I love children's books. So I got her three new Easter themed books. The first one is a like spin off of her absolute favorite book, which is Pow Pow Fish. It's Happy Easter Pow Pow Fish. It is very small though, I will say. The other book I got was another variation of a book we have. We have the You're My Little Cuddle Bug. This is You're My Little Honey Bunny. And the Cuddle Bug book is another one of her favorites. Um, it has like cutouts. So like the sunflower. And it's like the sunflower cutout. And it does that throughout the whole book. So she likes to feel this because it has the raised edge. I have a band-aid. <laughs> if you see that on my finger because I was making her mo mobile, mobile, whatever gift. Um, baby mobile, baby mobile. I was making her... Easter gift last night and put a needle like right through my finger so yeah that's why that's there and the last book is again another spinoff of a book that has been her absolute favorite and the one she has is never touch a shark I think that's just like the whole the whole title yeah never touch a shark this is never touch a grumpy bunny and she loves textures right now like I was saying so she's gonna be a huge fan of this and it's again rhyming um so i'm going to oh my god this one's really cute i'm going to put these in there and then i also have little mini birkenstocks from old navy so i am putting them in there too they match my birkenstocks which i actually wear around the house now because it's my plantar fasciitis i have to have shoes on and these are amazing. I need a second pair actually now too because now that it's spring and summer, I I wear them all the time um, like to work because they're phenomenal for teaching. Since I've been more adamant about making sure I wear bright insoles, bright shoes, um, I'll wear just like cheap sneakers at work. They're a little more platformy and then I have a really good insole in it meant for plantar fasciitis. 
my feet have been a lot better. Um, it's been about a year now since that whole foot pain started. I can't believe that, but um, you know, pregnancy definitely made it get way worse and then it just kind of it lingered for a whole year. Um, but I'm just starting to see some relief and biking really helps. So when I do workouts on the swim bike, that like stretches that muscle out and it really helps too. But back to these, my Birkenstocks have really saved my feet and so it's all I wear. So now we can match because these are little baby ones and they were like $8 or something. Um, they were not expensive at all. This actually is not going into her Easter egg basket. Um, we're going to try to actually do this tonight. We're going to dye some Easter eggs with her tonight. And then the other thing I want to put in there are these eggs. I had to steal some from my mom because they were all sold out everywhere. I waited too long to get them. Um, but I don't know what I want to put in them. Maybe just like some more of this like crinkle stuff. Um, I thought when she's older, how cute would it be to put a little Instax camera photo um, printed out. Oh gosh. <laughs> uh, I saw someone do Bible verses that they then like read to their kid, which is cute. Honestly, I don't even need to put anything in this because just the egg itself, like she will love to play with this, love to like bang it together. Um, so we'll see. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Now I'm going to put in the books, the like crinkle stuff. I think I might wrap the gift I made her because I don't know how else to like give it to her. Let me let me go get it and show you. I'm looking at it now. I have it hanging from her jolly jumper. Okay. So right now I have it hanging on a hanger, but I used an embroidery hoop. I used string and then I did um, wood beads for the topper. And then on the bottom I have three little bunnies. So I crocheted each one of these little guys. We have a brown one, a white one, and then a gray. But I'm really happy with how it turned out actually, and I like that it's simple. I was debating putting like green pom poms and hanging those, but I just feel like it's, I don't know, I think it's just simple. Um, and that's like, I don't want anything to take away, I guess, from the bunnies, so I like it. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Oh, and I'll try to spread my wings so I can fly. Oh, and the darkness starts to fade. Feels like things are gonna go To be continued away. because Rosemary is waking up right now. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day, it's Saturday, and it's, it's currently 6.30 um, in the morning, and Rosemary is just now waking up, so I don't even know if I shared, but she had been waking up really early, so we tried putting her to sleep earlier last night. I actually read that putting them to sleep earlier would help with the sleep cycle, and like they're not as overtired when they go to sleep so apparently it helps with babies waking up too early so i was like well i'll just try it if she ends up waking up at like 4 a.m because we put her in bed at like 6 30 instead of 7 or 7 30 i'll just deal with it but she actually is still asleep well she's like tossing and turning as she's about to wake up i can tell and, and yeah it's like almost 6 30 so that's a success we just want her to sleep till 6 if we can because um, I usually get up during the week at five and get ready from five to six. Well, if I work out or if Tony's working that day, I will get up at 4 a.m. But usually I get up at 5 a.m. And then I take over and wake her up and everything at six. And then I spend from six to seven hanging out with her and then I go to work. So this morning I was actually able to put my makeup on. I self tanned last night. Oh my God, it feels so good to be tan. I also was outside like almost all day yesterday i chose to spend some time outside instead of coming in and baking um so i think we're gonna bake <laughs> i hear her talking to herself i think i'm going to bake um either tomorrow morning or this morning but we're also gonna bake a ham today we're gonna make mashed potatoes today my family's gonna go over for easter dinner so it is a eventful day in the kitchen to say the least I'm excited um, to put that meal together and then Tony gets home at like 2 30 and he's gonna help me with the rest then so today's gonna be fun and festive and then tomorrow too 
for actual Easter. Yesterday was gorgeous outside. I put a blanket down and Rosemary and I sat on it and just hung out. And then when she went down for her nap, I was able to go out and help Tony with our patio, which we were so also so excited about. We were able to lay all the gravel down on it. And now we can start like putting rocks around and putting together our patio furniture. And we're so excited to have a place outside to spend time and to sit. I even got a little sun yesterday on my shoulders, which I love for you guys. Summer is my favorite season of all time. I used to think it was fall just because like that's when my birthday is and all the colors and like that feeling in the air that's getting like crisp, but no. Because with fall, you know it's coming. Winter, which is my least favorite season. I feel horrible in the winter. I get grumpy. I just, it's not good. Spring and summer is when I feel the best, I tell ya. All right, I hear her little babbles. I'm going to go. She, I think, is fully awake now. Wake her up, feed her, and then we're gonna start this day. Just fill my water. I try to finish one of these a day. I use the hydro jug. I love it because it has a strap. Um, if you're a mom, I suggest any water bottle with a strap because when I'm carrying her, I can just put it on my shoulder and carry it around the house. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Here with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll call it golden. golden. room <laughs> it's quite um the disaster but that's part of this house is that you can shut the door on it rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden i'll follow up from her nap. Is that your first one of the day? Yeah, your first one of the day. So I'm trying to plan out her second nap so that it lines up with our dinner. We're gonna do around four. That's just Dixie. She's just whining. Um, so I prepped, well I cut up the potatoes for mashed potatoes and I prepped the ham, which I have to put in soon. It's right there. Boom. Um, so I think that's gonna go in around 11. I think it's going to take like four hours. But I also wanted to make these, I actually wanted to make these for Tony's family's Easter tomorrow, but I'm going to, my hair is a little crazy, but I'm going to test these out right now. And I thought I could just make the outsides of them, like the pie part, and then just create the filling and save the filling and do that part tomorrow. But um, they are, but they're so cute. There are these, let me see if I can get an actual photo by itself. Like pie, tart, cream cheese. It looks so good. It looks so good. This is essentially what you do. And you can make your own pie crust, but I um, wanted something super simple. I usually make things from scratch, but I just couldn't do it this year. Not for something like this. I just wanted it to be fun. And like, I feel like the presentation is part of the point of I wanted to do it because I think it's so cute. So I have some pills where I go here and it says okay heat oven to 450. i need to get going on this because i want to try to like get some of these cooked or baked just to test them um before the ham goes in so it says i'll cut eight flowers from one crust okay well i can just do that now and then for the fillings um you do like a layer of this cream cheese mixture it's like cream cheese and butter and then some preserves so i got strawberry preserves and red raspberry preserves, and then is this apricot? No, peach, peach preserves. So I also got this guy from Amazon. This is the one they use in the recipe. Um, I think 
these ones from the photos turned out a little better like this wavy flower instead of an actual like flower flower uh cookie cutter all right you want to cut these out you want to help me let's do some baking the sun's coming out all right for the rest of this i need to look up how they do this um, okay, it says prick. Oh wait, carefully place one kettle inside each of the sixteen ungreased mini mini muffin tins. Oh, I have regular muffin tins. Oh, mommy messed up. Do I think I have a mini muffin tin? But I only have one. Um. Okay. Well then, mm, rosemary. <laughs> All right, I'm putting you in your walker for a second. I gotta go find it. I got lucky. I have one. Okay. So do not grease it. You could totally roll this up and make more with it with the un Are you in your walker? She has been walking. Oh, I'm so dark. Uh, she has been walking in her walker like crazy. She's seeing all of the animals. Show them. Show them how well you do. Come here. Come here, Rosie. Are you being are you being shy? Yeah, come on, come on, baby. Yeah, there you go. Wow, say I chase the animals like crazy. Yeah, you want the camera? I think you want to be with me. Yeah, okay. I'll get ya. Yeah, she's asking to be picked up. I'll get ya. Ooh. Here we go. All right, so anywho, back at it. Carefully place one cutout inside each of the 16 ungreased mini muffins, staggering them every other cup among three pans. Okay, so, oof, I don't know. Let's see if we do this. We gotta check the picture again. They just kinda like, can I do this one handed? <laughs> And then bend them. Oh, that's not great. Oh, that's not great either. Well, these are be, these will be ours. Am I doing this right, Rosemary? I feel like theirs are a little overlapped and ours are not. <laughs> Alright, so I just went in and pricked the bottoms hi rosie just like you would pie and then it said i think it's only in for like yeah five to seven minutes i did see that in the reviews people said to really watch it because um they could burn so i don't know if this one's gonna let me really really watch it we might have a bunch of burnt flowers thank you You're giving me your your little washcloth she likes to chew on these it's just like a damp washcloth that's now on the floor. <laughs> nope, saved by the island. Here you go, baby. Yeah. Oh, that time it wasn't. So they're not like <laughs> terrible, but it's the issue that I figured I would have is, oh, that pedal almost just broke off. Um, is that because I feel like they didn't overlap, they kind of, each pedal went off and did its own thing. But that's gonna be to be continued until tomorrow um, because now my focus is going to be the ham and this one, of course. Um, and so I think I'm just going to bake the rest of those tomorrow and fill them tomorrow morning. You're so silly! You're so silly! You are right. This is going to be good. Ah! Yes. Ah! I know how exciting. I probably will get a mess because I just took Rosemary outside for some fresh air. Ah! Loved it. She loved it, didn't you? Yes, she did. Um, but I'm going to be putting her down for her last nap 
before um, yeah, before my parents came over. Oh, and she needs it. I tried to extend this wig window a little bit just so that she will get a very nice nap in. But we do have the table all set. Rosemary helps me. <laughs> yes. Cute. My mom brought these up. It's so cute. And then Rosemary's little spot here. This is the big Easter basket my mom got Rosemary. Isn't that so funny? It's huge, like for size references. There's my hand. Yeah, you can't look in it though. You just want the camera. Always grabbing at it. Yeah. I have not stopped moving since I woke up. I'm so tired. Tony's bringing me an energy drink. Um, he's getting off of work soon. That's all I need. I'll be fine then. But she just went down for her nap. I did it. I got her to sleep. I got her wake window to be longer. She'll get a really good nap in now, hopefully. And then she'll be happy all night long until bedtime. Um, so I'm going to change. It's my third change of the day. But, you know, that's baby life. I got sit up on once. And then this was my second, like, casual outfit. But I wanted to wear a new dress for Easter. I'm wearing um, also a new dress for Easter tomorrow. I'll show you guys that too because it's so cute. We have like a matching outfit thing going on from Old Navy. These are outfits all hanging up right now, but um, I got this dress from Old Navy for Rosemary and then they had a matching one for mom. And I originally got this set just for summer. Um, I did not think that that was what we were gonna be wearing for Easter. Tony from Target actually got her this really cute bunny dress and that was what she was gonna wear for Easter for like when we go to his parents, I mean. Um, and then I got this pink dress from, I think this is from All Navy too. But Tony was like, oh my gosh, if you're matching, you should wear it for Easter. So we're gonna wear this tomorrow. And then I picked up this just like polo from Walmart for Tony. Um, so we'll all be matchy matchy. And then today, that's what we're gonna be wearing. I'm gonna put, Rosie in this little bunny dress for tonight and then I think I'm gonna wear this little pink dress. I actually like that, that outfit combo better for Easter day but when your husband agrees to match with you you don't say no so I have to do it. I have to do it. Say hi Rosemary. Oh the brightness is too bright. Yeah you see the camera. You love it. You love it. She always grabs for it, Tony. Yeah? Say it's Easter Sunday and we're gonna go meet family. And you're so happy. Tony's driving, I'm in the back with Rosie. Do, do, do. Yeah, I know, you want the camera. So it's Easter Sunday. Oh, oh, are you, are you adding your commentary? She's been chatty all day, don't you think? That's awesome though. So it's Easter Sunday. Last night I stopped vlogging, uh, but I will insert photos. We had a wonderful Easter with my family, and then today I woke up and I finished the, <laughs> the like cream cheese uh, pie tarts that I started, I well, like I tested yesterday. So the recipe had you spread out the petals but I found like that that didn't work for me. I don't know. So I just like pushed them into the muffin tin <laughs> and then they came out so cute. So I'll put a photo here of how they turned out, but I'm so happy with that. And the filling is just like something simple, but I feel like you could make the filling anything you want. Like it could just be any pie filling. Like you could just treat it as like mini pies and make them. So you could do pumpkin, like for whatever season, you know what I mean? Um, so I am excited to keep that because now I have the cookie cutter. That's just my hand. <laughs> Look at your smile. It's a spider hand. Yeah, now you look at the camera again. Um, so what else? So, oh, the we also got dressed in the dresses that I showed you guys. Rosemary's looking so cute. Per new parent fashion we left like a half hour late <laughs> that's fine though um she also woke up today what time did she wake up tony yeah this morning like 6 30 so i told you guys that we were trying to push her bedtime earlier because i read that it actually ironically if you push the bedtime earlier 
they sleep later. Well, I didn't believe it, and I was like, whatever, I'll just try it. It worked two nights in a row, so finally something I read online actually panned out and worked. However, tonight she'll be getting bed a little bit later because our goal was to leave um, our family's place at 7. But we're getting there a little late, and Daddy says bye for a very long time. Your rounds of saying goodbye. Exactly. It's an Italian goodbye. What does that mean? You say bye to everyone three times. You and say... then you talk to them by the car. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but with like a baby, I'm usually pretty like, we need to leave at seven, but we're getting there later. So I feel like, I don't know. We'll see how the night goes. Um, I got makeup on your bow and it does bother me. Look at that, Rosie. Ugh. I don't have any backup bows. That's makeup on your bow, it's fine. No one's gonna look that closely. It'll be okay. So I hope you all had an amazing Easter with your family and I'm glad I got to share a little bit of what ours looks like. We are going to die. I know, man. Oh my goodness, do I know. You have so many thoughts. We're gonna dye eggs tomorrow after Tony gets home from work. We're gonna have a late night tonight and get home late. So. I'm so happy I'm off tomorrow, but then, yeah, when he gets home tomorrow, we're gonna dye eggs. And Easter's gonna go an extra day, because we're dying eggs tomorrow, Rosemary. Oh, her basket. She loved her little basket this morning. That was really cute, too. All right, so I hope you guys had a great Easter, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye, say bye, Rosie. Bye-bye.